Have you ever wondered how celebrities spend their day-to-day -day lives? Because I have. And whether it really is the sweet life. You have too, clearly. Comedian and actress Jessica Napata is asking the question on her series, podcast series, Perfect Day. As guests picture their perfect day and compare it to every day. Jess has them spilling their daily secrets from peculiar habits, and there's a few of them, let's be honest, to their most embarrassing moments. She joins me now. Good morning, yes. Jessica. What an intro. I don't have to do anything now. It's you all been done and said. <laughs> you get it, right? You it's a podcast it. about perfect days. Oh, something What's fell you? over Are into okay? my shoe. I'm so sorry. The desk is falling apart. We're very excited about Chesney Hawks naked, clearly. Undertones. Anyway, uh, sorry, I totally interrupted you. No, no. You just... My shin is bleeding, Jessica. Oh this my is not God. about you. No, Call an ambulance. <laughs> Call an ambulance. We've got to graze. Perfect day. Let's yes. get this back on the road. So it's like morning, afternoon, afternoon. evening. You like yep. really delve into the routines. Are you... Uh, routine nerd like are you interested in the rituals and the like do you I, have a routine I, I do have a bit of a routine yeah. because I've got children so you sort of have to yeah. don't you because you've got to get them up and put their clothes on for them so and annoying. give them <laughs> Cheerios and send them to, to some sort of childcare setting <laughs> and um, and then you can get on with your day and your day <laughs> for like a short slice <laughs> so, yeah yeah. Between, of course between the hours of nine and yeah. three o'clock which is a perfect time to end the working day um but yeah no I do I like I like to know what what how creative people work and you know like I'm, I'm friends with quite a lot of stand-ups and I, I've never understood really how they write how do you know it is that question of how do how do the you come process. up how do you come up with this stuff which is actually really difficult to answer but and I, and I and that's really what I'm interested in. But if you ask people about their fantasy day, mm. then you will get a little smattering of their normal day. Yeah. And that's when you find out things like, like we had my friends on from um, the sitcom I made, Drifters. And it turns out neither of them have blinds on their windows. I mean, Why? what a terrible way to live. <laughs> an awful thing to do an to awful yourself. thing to do to yourself and and it's just turns out that it's big do they have curtains or just no nothing? no blinds no curtains no what shutters about one of them no little nothing. sticky uppy like blackout things that thank you, bring you if you thank you angela child. as i suggested oh, but see. neither it turns out just out of sheer laziness uh, neither of them have blinds on their on their windows i do wonder though in a weirdly if you can kind of reframe that as you know uh getting your circadian rhythm in Living tune with nature all of that yeah up with the sun down that means, with the yeah sure if you want moon. to be awake at 4 a.m in the summer <laughs> i know not for me i mean i have peepers i have no, a rotating same. bunch of them i cannot go to sleep with a glimmer of light yeah. hitting my corner no it's got it's to be white it's got to be i, I put on some sleepy music oh, and um a, an eye mask sleep is a big thing that's what that's how really how the day begins we always end up on on perfect day asking people about you know we start with the morning but people always start with the night really okay, the yeah. night before how that sets them up how it set them up how the do you day. feel about earplugs well thank you for asking finally <laughs> it's <laughs> you know no one ever asks me how i feel about earplugs I and, and I, I genuinely have an, an answer to this that <laughs> <laughs> may shock you um, my ear holes, Angela, are incredibly small. So are mine. <laughs> so are mine. I've been told you have an extremely narrow ear canal. I'm like, well, thank you. Well, say I it think. again. <laughs> <laughs> the only narrow canal I've got left. And honestly, it's I do think... It's such a humble brag. It's an amazing <laughs> moment. For, it's on my Twitter bio. I can't, I can't wear those normal, the product that shall not be named. Yes. Ear, earphones. Oh, really? Because they oh, they won't fit in. They won't fit in because they're too. Oh, you win. They're too big. You win. <laughs> I love earplugs. Is all I'm saying. But so. I love it. I love earplugs. But they do. But then they're quite. The little they're waxy quite ones. So oh, no, oh, you've gone honestly, wax. Honestly, game changer. I've gone wax. Okay. Sometimes my children eat them. I don't know how they feel after <laughs> if they really knew where they came from. But like you can <laughs> pull them off so that they become relevant to the size of your ears. Anyway, I think it's a really good idea. For you. But it's this. To be honest, it's this kind of chat, guys. <laughs> wow. The, I, if, I can't if we didn't wait to sell get it already. <laughs> We've already recorded the first few minutes of Perfect Day. I know. 
right. with with you, with the guest Angela Scanlon. Thank you very much. Um, what is your perfect day? Well, I was actually just talking about this outside because I used to have housemates, and now I have housemates aged to two and seven, and and, and a husband, <laughs> and that, and it's not the same. No, <laughs> and I would love to start my day in my pajamas with my best female friends in the same house and we all have a nice cup of tea and a goss and we talk about the night before someone's really let themselves down oh, yeah. someone's really but it's let... not you and it's not me mm. crucially or if it is me everyone's finding it funny and making me feel better about it i miss those days yeah. the camaraderie the goss Okay. And that's, I think that's what a little bit of me is trying to get back okay, with this by podcast. Okay, gathering yeah, humans I you just, like I love a, I just love a good chat. Yeah. I love a goss. I love, I'm, a, I'm, I'm nosy, really, yes. at the end. In, in every way, actually. Yeah, you've got I've also to be, got though. a large nose for the listeners. <laughs> That work, that joke works on two levels, okay? I think your nose is gorgeous. Well, I, I know it's big it's because I was in a, I was in a ladies recently and I was completely minding my own business. And what the, do you mean you were in a ladies? A ladies toilet. Oh, sorry, I was like, in a ladies. <laughs> sorry, <water>. and <laughs> uh, a box house. A box what? is that better? Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were in the loo. I in was a in the loo. Public loo. And minding my own business. And putting my makeup on, and the woman next to me said, "You're very pretty." And I said, "Oh, thank you." And she went, "I love your nose." <gasps> oh, oh my god! Oh, but it, she, it maybe so, she knew you, and she so was referring to something you've said about maybe, yourself in the past. Maybe, but the point is, you want I'm her. a nosy Parker, yeah. and that's why I love to ask delve. people about delve into the chats about yeah. what people what. Because when you ask people their fantasies, really, what how they want to spend their time, you find out so much about them. Well, it tells you a lot about their priorities and the things mm. that they value in mm. life, right? I mean, I scrolled down on a paper that I then <laughs> crumpled, but I've regurgitated her. <laughs> no, resuscitated. <laughs> you okay? No. <laughs> Do we need the ambulance? I think so. Oh, so perfect day. I mean, immediately I went to Miss Congeniality because you know, in yes. the film where they yes. say to her, "What would what's the per, the ideal date?" and she says, "I'm I'm April twenty fourth. Not too hot, not too cold. <laughs> All you need is a light sweater." Okay, so I'm like, does anyone come with yes, that sort of response? Great. I'm alive. I'm you know whatever. So. I have a lie-in until eight o'clock, which you can appreciate. I also have small children. So eight o'clock feels like a juicy, endless lie-in. Oh, this is where it's so good because all of what I observed is a lot of the um, women who have kids are, have said, you know, they, they lie in till like eight nights, sometimes 10 o'clock. And most of the comedians, when I ask them their normal day, it is basically the perfect day of most of the, <laughs> the female comedians who are parents. Stop it. They're like, yeah, usually I get up at 10, but on my perfect day, I might get up at nine. Oh, no. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. Mix it up, feel alive. Yeah, so you have a lie until eight. Oh. Lie until eight, but wait for this because I do think it's key because you mentioned it. Blinds that mm. open when I ask them, but in my head. Oh, what? So you don't even have to say no, it out loud? They just know. Oh, right. So Gosh. that could be circadian rhythm. Maybe it's like the opposite of having no blinds. I don't know. Uh, maybe like. it's just, re- it's it's re- it's controlled to, it's, there's... Timed? There's, yes, it's timed. It's a, it's a system. It's, Do you know what? I think this is, I think you could get this. I think I might I think this technology to... exists. I'm going to say, yeah. Okay, let's come back. You know more about this life it seems than me <laughs> Jessica Nappert we'll be talking actually talking about the podcast after this I'm so sorry oh, I hope we don't I mean we have been Still. chin wagon haven't we Jessica's mm-hmm. podcast series Perfect Day is born out of her fascination with how people manage their day so digging into daily routines bizarre habits and the most embarrassing moments my fave um but really, it's all about how we spend our most precious resource, which is time. Does this mean that you're like a productivity nut? I'm no. Ju- good. Shut up. <laughs> I was like, no, Shut up about productivity, <laughs> will you? No, do you know what? I'm, I'm getting quite zen about this now because there's so much productivity guilt, isn't there? Everyone yeah. always feels like they have to be making something, doing something, filling every minute. Mm-hmm optimizing themselves and I and actually 
what I found doing Perfect Day is when we're all honest about it, we all just want to have a lie in and then we want to go and stuff our faces with croissants, yeah. meet our friends for lunch, have a nap. When we're all honest with ourselves, guess what? We don't want to be working every minute of the day and going to the gym every minute of the day and spending what I, what our precious time on other people. Mm. <laughs> it's, that we don't know on the internet. We don't know. Yeah, it's so uh, it's it's got it's just got out of hand, hasn't it? Mm. Um yeah. but so this is actually a nice way to sort of slow down and um it's supposed to be a kind of feel good hour where we j it's comforting yeah. because it's really nice to hear people talk about and actually what I've been really surprised about is because it's your perfect day, you can have anything, you can choose whatever you want, you can go anywhere but people really just want the simple things. There's a lot of pottering. <laughs> I love a potter. And I did think, I was like, I'd quite fancy an hour of crafting with oh, my family. Yeah, a little bit of collage. So, so <laughs> idyllic, you yes, know? a little bit of colouring. I love I that. know. I sometimes set up these crafting activities for my children and then... And then you work gone. while they're doing it. <laughs> they've No, they've gone off to go and play oh, something else and I'm do still it. doing it, cutting out the little stars. Oh, but I, no, I think... It, yeah, a little bit of that. It's mm. nice to hear how people do it. And I mean... Two people chose um, going to a petrol station. <laughs> what, to smell the petrol? Because I do love that. I got a bit of it on my shoes. I was like, not washing these. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Yesterday. Is, yeah, I think it's all about... So it's just, I think people like the idea of just having time. Mm -hmm. What you what you hear a lot is that in on people's perfect day, they just haven't got to rush off anywhere okay. and they haven't got to do anything and there's no work due. And most people's phones are off. Yeah. You know, no one's like, my perfect day is I scroll through Instagram. I uh, do, review my content plan. <laughs> <laughs> Respond to direct messages. <laughs> yeah. Apart from Lauren O'Rourke, um, who wanted to go all, go through her Facebook comments. And oh, wow. Read, read vile comments. She's um, one of the girls from Drifters. I keep just talking about that episode because oh no, it no. was a very funny episode. I, there is a lot of wit and light, but also like a lot of wisdom. And I mean, you've got an incredible line of people, Ramesh Ranganathan, Dolly Alderton, loved that one. Jessica Gunning, mm. who's obviously from Baby Ranger, yeah. thank you so much. Um, Tim Key, who I adore, Emerald Fennell. Like, just a brilliant minds. And I mean, maybe the through line is that they're all creatives and therefore don't, you know, get up, go to work. Mm. You know, they kind of have to be self-motivated, but also need to be, um, I guess, leave enough space for inspiration to yeah. drop in if that's how it works you yeah know? I guess that's true and I think probably I'm trying to work out what how I can better spend my own days because mm. I feel that they're too jam-packed and I would like to do less yes. if I'm honest yeah and actually talking to Emerald was a really good example of someone who does very little write actual you know to say she's a movie writer an oscar winning movie writer and director incredible talent like insane insane talent, talent mm. and um is, is yes deserves um to not be as scrutinized as she is being currently i would mm. say um she for instance doesn't do doesn't put pen to paper until she's got the whole movie in her head this is the kind of thing that you're learning. And then and then she just sits down and, and writes it. But, it but she says it can go. be years of just sort of Percolating. turning it over in her mind. Yeah. And for that, she sort of just watches other people's films okay. and go, has little wander around, goes shopping and, <laughs> and doesn't, you know, doesn't do a lot. Just so thinks. doesn't force herself to sit at the table and write something. Yeah. I like Which that. is fascinating because there is a lot. Uh, for writers there's this idea that you have to turn up turn up at the page the they discipline. call it yeah every day mm. and write something every day nine to you know yeah. put your hours in which I think and there is there, I'm sure there is some wisdom in that as well is there a difference because when I was imagining what my perfect day would be aside from the blinds that activate themselves with mere thought of me wanting psychic them to blind. open psychic blinds <laughs> um, I immediately went straight to my last day and there is a distinct I don't know why because your last day on earth yeah oh okay so I kind not that my last day would be my perfect day but I think maybe when I think of you know my fe your perfect meal yeah. I go straight to death row meal like the last yeah, meal yeah, I'd ever yeah. have 
And so I went straight to that. Which so it's all like bucket list. Kind of. Yeah. And that's a slightly different flavour, isn't it? But with the perfect day, what you realise is most of those things, and I, I have been trying to do this myself, when you're on holidays and you're like, oh, this is the life. Oh, I love that. And there's actually quite a few things that you do on holidays that you absolutely could copy and paste into your real life yes. and not just leave them for that two weeks of a year. Like lying down. Like having a nap. <laughs> like reading a book. Any of it. Listening to a podcast. Thank you very much. Perfect day, Jessica Nappett. <laughs> Available where you get your podcast. Out every Thursday. Thursday's a great day. It's a great day. Great day for a podcast. You are a wonder. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love you. In. I love you too. <laughs> Perfect day. Go listen to it now. Who's the next episode? Um, oh, sorry, Amy no, Gledhill, but... the wo- the woman who won the Edinburgh Comedy Award this year. She's so funny. Oh it's the ba- it's a really great episode. It's basically a bunch of overachievers talking about their perfect day, and you need to listen to it immediately. Sure is. Oh, we have a quick text. Hi, Angela and Jess. Welcome to my world. I have tiny ears and cannot wear some earphones too. <laughs> they just fall out. Humble brag, babes. Just welcome the to the club. <laughs> <laughs>